Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter and sharing that with you, and I'm excited that today we are starting with the second book of the Bible, Exodus chapter 1. Fear is a powerful motivating force. I know this from personal experience. Let me give you a light example. When I was in the U.S. Army Airborne School, I had moments of fear that I would not be landing in the same airplane that I was taking off in. Ha! I was going to have to jump out of that perfectly good airplane, and it got scary at moments. But as a 19-year-old West Point cadet, my fear of the power of those in authority over me, who held a lot of power over my future and my promotion and all those things, that fear at that time, my life was greater than my fear of death or injury. What do you fear? Fear can be used for good or evil. Egypt, the Pharaoh of Egypt, used it for evil to enslave the growing nation of Israel. So while Joseph was alive, Pharaoh treated Joseph and his family well. But later came a king that did not remember Joseph. Listen to the new Pharaoh leverage fear in Exodus chapter 1, verses 8 to 10. Now a new king arose over Egypt who did not know Joseph. He said to his people, Behold, the people of the sons of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them, or else they will multiply. And in the event of war, they will also join themselves to those who hate us and fight against us and depart from the land. Do you hear how Pharaoh was using fear? So Pharaoh used fear to get his people to agree to enslaving a whole ethnic group of people. Furthermore, the Pharaoh's intensifying fear of the Hebrews caused him to command the murder of every male baby. He commanded the midwives to do this in verse 16. But watch how those midwives respond in verse 17. And I quote, But the midwives feared God. Did you hear it? The midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt had commanded them, but let the boys live. These women defied Pharaoh's evil order. They put their own lives at risk and faced the most powerful person in the world. Why? Because their fear of the authority of God was greater than the fear of their own death. Seize the moment and put God first but his authority first, but his rule first, but his opinion of your life first in every area of your life. The fear of the Lord has the power to cast out all fear. Seize the moment.